Hello and welcome to another update video about gold. We take a look at the gold chart here, which is still um, following the bullish thesis at the moment. And um, what can I say? It is still the year of the metals, I would say, as already forecasted last year. It is still an overall bullish structure on the gold chart here on the, in the gold market. And I share with you a short term bullish and short term bearish wave count. Um, both are, however, part of an overall bullish scenario. So it's literally just a question of how deep is the pullback going to be that the market is going to offer. And to a degree, this is just noise considering the wider aspects of this bull market. Um, I mean, gold, as you might remember from previous videos, is, is moving up in this kind of um, diagonal pattern from the 2022 low. We have an ABC structure in wave one of a larger fifth wave into the May 2023 highs, wave two pullback into the October 23 lows that hasn't changed. And then here, this kind of A, B, C in wave three. That's the thesis that we're now in wave C of a third wave. And then there should be still a wave four and a wave five. And in the white count, this is what it is that we're now in the C wave and we completed basically the C wave started in February a one, a two, a three. Yeah, this year um, was then the way four. the price dipped into the support zone that I defined. And then this could now be the fifth wave to the upside following the directly bullish count. Then somewhere probably in the region around 2,500 or so 2,600 that um, last wave up of that C wave could complete before then a larger fourth wave starts and the fifth. This is the straightforward directly bullish wave count. Um, in this scenario, if I zoom in a little bit, um, the fifth wave is likely going to be an ABC structure. Again, it has to do with the situation that this here looks to me like a three wave move in wave one, and it would be wave one of wave C, and the C wave is an ending diagonal. I also can count that as a three wave move, even though that looks more like five. So it's a little bit ambiguous. OK, the microstructure is a bit messy. Um, but again, the microstructure is not so relevant, really, that the levels are more important. The levels are way more important than the microstructures. I always say that people don't understand it, but I always say it here as well. Yeah, that support zone was gold, literally gold price dipped into it and is now reversing. And um, there is another support zone that could become relevant. So if this fifth wave is really an ABC structure, then we're now in the A wave. And the reason I'm saying that is this looks so choppy. It really does lots of overlaps here. So this could be an A wave, then we get a B wave pullback and then a C wave rally from there. That means in any case, if we now get a pullback and there's absolutely no sign of a pullback yet, I would need to see a break below the last swing low at 2,375 to indicate that we're at least pulling back in the B wave. And if we get a pullback in the B wave, then support is 2,313. So as long as we're holding above that level, the white count is in control and remains preferred. OK, if we get a break below 2,313, then the yellow count will become preference. Um, this is getting challenged, you know, because in this count, we have an A wave down of a larger B wave. Again, it would just be bullish. It would it would be short term more bearish, but overall more bullish because this would be wave A of wave three, but a much longer A. So the C will also be much longer um, Then here B yeah, and then C and the third wave will be up there somewhere. And then, you know, this is eventually much more bullish. But in this scenario, we test the lower support area before we go up further. But it takes a break below 2,313 to confirm. And then we should move down to possibly around about 2,189. In this case, the B wave would be a WXY structure. So essentially, that's what I'm watching for. Um, I can give you a more precise target for wave C of 5 once we have formed the low in wave B. If the price pushes higher on Monday, I will have to adjust the support region accordingly. It is just current support. It's a moving support area until we have really established a local top there. So yeah, that's my update about gold. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500 
as well as regular updates about stocks, then feel free to check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.